Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is uh, We Happy Few, as you can see on the screen with that that mask, which is shattered. This is an alpha game, as you can see in, in the bottom right, says Gameplay Alpha, and there's a pretext message when you start the game. Pretty much says that the game isn't finished, obviously it's an alpha, and but they're going to be adding more into the game, more of the story of three other characters and whatnot as they progress. And so I decided to pick up this game because it looked pretty interesting. It's about a dy uh, dystopian society that takes a drug called Joy, which uh, makes you blend in and seem like a normal person. And if you don't take Joy, then you're just a depressing fuck. So pretty much me, on a daily basis. So I decided to uh, actually take this game because it seemed like seems like it would be pretty interesting. And it kind of seems like it's a different concept than, what I'm, than you usually get in a lot of games. And so, also, I believe that whenever you die, it regenerates the world around you, so the story's never the same. So, Second Wind puts players in dying state when their health reaches zero instead of dying instantly. I'm going to use that. And then Permadeath. When Permadeath is enabled, your character is gone forever when you die. So, I'll do that. You know, why not Why not do both? Spice up the gameplay, make it a little bit harder, make me want to kill myself while we're at it. That way, I, I, would, I would actually really want the drug joy, you know? Quick slots allow you to readily use items F outside of the inventory. Outfits are available when you alter, which alter how you are perceived in the world. Different outfits may best suit certain playstyles. Interesting. That's kind of sounds like the uh, Bioshock Infinite where you had different hats and boots and all that shit like that. Happy is the country with no past. Hmm. Okay. Redactor. Dig on for a victory over com oh man, but I like communism. That's not funny. This seems like a pretty uh monotonous job. Oh heavens no. What what why not why not that one? Is that one too depressing? People not like depressing subjects? Come on now, this is... I think this is actually 1960 when this takes place in an alternate universe, so... I imagine 1960 is pretty depressing. Looks like we're in England, the, uh, by the flag. 1964. When life annoys, top up your joy. Take my joy, shouldn't I? Don't take your joy. Restoration machine. Hold E to remember. Hold V to take joy. Interesting. So I could either take my joy right now, uh, because I'm guessing people don't like to be depressed. Obviously, normal people, no, normal people outside of, outside of this game don't like to be depressed because it, it sucks to be depressed, honestly. But without it. If you live your life in a constant state of happiness and you live your life by a sense, a dullest sense of joy and happiness and you're just kind of dulled to the pain of the world, you can't really progress. I don't really know my character's backstory as of right now, but I imagine that that Arthur kid or whatever has some sort of significance to him in a way of, I don't know, depression or whatever. It triggers, it triggers him like Vietnam flashbacks or whatever, and so he wants to take joy... But I'm not gonna take joy. I'm gonna go with remember. I wanna see what he has to what what he has. What triggered him so bad that made him want to take joy? Percy 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 on Arthy Hashton were the survivors I couldn't read the rest of that. I'm Arthur. What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? No. <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, Snug come on, as then, a mug on a drug. Up. I like that. Just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. I just took my drugs, dude. Aha. Uh -huh. 
The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? Uh, well, I'll get I'm... a new one. I guess I will, uh... So he needs a power cell. There's a power cell right there. We're gonna sit down, put a power cell in there, and then we're gonna store. Alright, cool. What the fuck, dude? They'll be shot? That's pretty messed up. Anyways, as the newspaper says, Percival and Arthur Hashington, I guess that was my brother, I think I'm Arthur, were the surprise winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judges that his brother has photogenic... Photographic, not photogenic, what the fuck. Photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and, pr and prams and things were in the Garden District. Percival himself really speaks to strangers, apparently. The scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union. Man, that sucks. Which is, <laughs> which is, which is all by reports going splendidly. The brothers brought in a record of six, 1,654 pounds of scrap steel, winning them $50 victory against communism bond. The second prize went to Alien Unwin. It doesn't seem like anything that you'd really want to censor. Um, it seems like something that would be happy. It's like, hey guys, we won some cool documents, so I guess we'll accept the document. It doesn't look like something. Brothers, I'll always look after you. You know that. Now that I recall, you were a rubbish goalkeeper at school too, weren't you? Nah, man, that was pretty good. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Oh. Tell me, I, I have to send you these? Isn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Dude, she's probably dead. Uh, Gen Report, General Robert Bing, the Municipal Len Leon's Le Leon Le Leon Fuck, dude. I know how to say that word. I've heard it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. And now I'm, I look like an whatever. Le 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 I'm gonna kill myself. To the occupation authority appeared on Parade Street late last night to speak to a crowd of citizens urgently requesting clarification of the new child registration rule. As most Wellington Wellington Wellingtonians Wellingtonians knew no 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 by now holy shit I can't read what the fuck please put me down like a dog like put me down like like old yeller honestly I, I can't read. All the children who will be under the age of thirteen by July twenty second must be registered with the authorities. General Bing clarified that the deadline for registration is next Thursday. He refused to speculate on the rational ra rationale for the registration regulation. I cannot illuminate the registration any further because Colonel von Stuffenberg has not informed me of its purpose, said the general. I imagine and hope that it has something to do with the maintaining... I can't read that part, hold on. Maintaining the nutrition of our growing children in this time of scarce, scarce, scarcity. But the OA, I don't know what that means, have not told me so explicitly. He reminded the crowd that the occupant, I'm guaranteeing that probably has to get censored because that looks like it'd be something very upsetting. So I'm going to censor that because I don't know what happens if I don't censor it. I don't want to die. Because that sounds like something you'd want to probably block out because it's going to make people fucking be like, Oh my god, I gotta register my children? They don't want to tell me why I gotta register my children? I'm gonna riot. Let's start a riot. Can I fucking stop censoring shit, dude? I don't want to censor shit anymore. Oh, I can actually stand up. Well, I'll censor two more things, I guess. The first round of trials of the new anti melancholic medication has been qualified success, say the Dr. Alexander Gross. Acting head of the Melancholia Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria High uh, Hospital. A drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of the 30 it despondent rats over... Shit, I hit the mic by accident. Over the 20-day period. Uh, the drug... That doesn't sound like that would be too bad, honestly. I'll accept the document. That sounds like they'd be happy. Everyone loves that. You know, everyone loves not to be depressed, I guess. 
Oh, dude, cool. I'm done. I can stand up now. I did my job. No, I hold on. Okay, so what's 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 around here? Huh? What's what's around here? Shall we? Let's see, you got you got Arthur Employee of the Year, dude. Sweet. I'm the I'm the Employee of the Year. There's my pill bottles, my pill bottle, not bottles. All right, looks like a pretty nice house, I guess. Well, it's City Hall, I guess. Arthur Hat. Yeah, that is me. I can. I can't go in there apparently. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube. Maybe. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Probably, yeah, that's true. I will break it for everybody. Cleve's business letter was added to your journal. The business letter reads as following: Doctor Mister Bert, Bert Whistle. It is it. <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> it is so thoughtful of you to have suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for your suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I'm afraid that it will be. Dis establishing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hashington's. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue does not return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy, and you'll feel the sunshine on your face. However, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. This guy, oh, this, this is fucking messy in here, what the fuck? What the fuck happened in here, dude? This guy is fucking... There's dirt everywhere. Ah, oh, dude, sweet. I found an anonymous letter in Cleve's office. Here's what it says. That little shit. He wants my view. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Dear Director Bing, one of our employees is subversive and may not be a downer. It may be... Oh, shit. may even be a downer. I'm guessing that means a depressed guy. Also, it's 4.20 p.m. Blaze it, my niggas! I overheard him in the commentary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly. And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I naturally, but I am a naturally shy woman and... Oh, what a bitch. That person wants to take my shit, dude. Also, there's drugs here. Are you fucking? I can redact. I can redact in his office too. Well, I mean, it's not my job. Like, I'm not. It's not my office, so I'm gonna approve every fucking document. This asshole wants to fucking kick me out of here. Nah, dude. Fuck him. I'm gonna accept every piece of documentation he has in here, good or bad, and they're gonna take him away. And fuck him. XD. I hope this person gets fucking killed or something. Even though they're like gone. My ears hurt. I think this headset's hurting my ears. Alright. There we go. Also, I'm taking this power cell. This person actually fucking hates me. This person actually really hates me. Why? I didn't even do anything. What the fuck, dude? Apparently I'm hated there. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh shit, dude, I'm having like a trigger. I'm being triggered right now. I'm being depressed. Like... Yeah, this food's fucking rotten, dude. What the fuck? Dude, that's gross. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? They probably killed her, dude. She's probably dead. Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. Oh man, poor Prue. She seemed like she was a nice person. Or at least this guy liked her. Oh my god, I can literally redact everything from anyone. <laughs> Redact. I can just go through and just use all the. I don't know. Your baby's weight is tripe. Remember to turn in your automotive, so we can turn it into scrap to fight the Russians. Because you know what they say about the, those Ruskies. Better dead than red. 
I believe that was a quote at some point during this time was better better dead than red. So you know that is. I mean, I'd I'd rather I'd rather be I'd rather be red than dead, honestly, or red dead redemption. John Marston, if you will. I'm just gonna accept everything. I don't fucking care. Even though they're in, like prudence, how is prudence accepting these? Even though I don't really know if, these, if it's going to be Prudence who's actually accepting these or not. But I'm going to take this power sound out. I'm going to stand up. And Prudence is apparently gone. So I'm going to miss you, Prudence, honestly. There's a bunch of shit in here. What the fuck is going on here? Oh my... Is he dead? Or are they injecting with joy? Hi! I didn't see shit. Alright then, I didn't see shit. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Wow, what the fuck is going on here? There is a lot of shit going on there. There's a lot of people not here. I never noticed that. We should fix that, or empty the bucket at least. <laughs> or empty the bucket. Come on, guys, let's empty the bucket here, Emil. Let's be honest, guys, we gotta empty the bucket. There you are. You nearly missed the pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Really? Come it's making on, a really weird sound. It. It's making it. a gross sound. Like, it sounds like. It sounds really wet. Like, give it a whack. Oh, dude, is that blood? Oh my god, what the f They're eating a rat. You are off your joy. I'm literally not. Take one of mine. No, I don't want it. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. <laughs> Probably. Probably a little bad. Okay, so apparently Joy alters your perception. Oh shit. Okay. No, never mind. I don't wanna. Ah, oh, dude, that's gotta hurt. Okay, so Joy alters your perception of reality, and uh, they thought they're hitting a piano. We were actually hitting a dead rat, and they ate it. Oh, dude, they just kicked my face in. <laughs>